Jim? What are you doing? Name's George. I'm your training oh, partner today. Oh, God. Come on in. George. How are you, man? What's going on? How are on? you, big guy? I don't know. Hey, ready to roll up, around? I'm a little tuning. There's Chris. Jesus. <laughs> I got you. I got you. George, guy. stop, man. Just take a break. Take a break for a little bit. I'll be downstairs. All right. Be right, the is that your personal chef? That's right. <laughs> yeah, he better be. You know he can cook. Look at, uh, look he looks like he can cook. Yeah. He looks like he can do a lot of things. Yeah. Welcome to my home gym, and most importantly, welcome to Weidman's World. Ah, this is cool. I'm, Thank uh, you, man. I want to be able to knock out a 50-year-old. Well, you're going to be able to. After today's training session, you're going to be able to knock out not just 50-year-olds, but really weak, unathletic 20-year-olds. See, now that, yeah. that too. Because they get a little, I got three daughters, mm -hmm. all right? One's 19, one's 17, one's 14. Jeez. The wolves are on the door. Wow. And every once in a while, I just got to let them know, hey, listen, man, just going to let you know, one wrong turn, you're going to be snoring. Yeah, absolutely. They think you're a joke. You're a comedian. They, yeah, they look, they see, yeah. I look like I'm baked all the time. Like, oh, look at his face. Yeah, this guy from half baked. Like, no, I'm going to knock you out. Besides, like a Rogan, OK? Yeah, yeah. See, I could take most comics. Maybe Kevin. Kevin is. Well, I don't want to mess with Kevin. He's deceivingly you know, super I don't mess athletic with Kevin. And, and he's been he's been training MMA forever. Yeah, no, F forget Kevin's, Kevin. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say anybody else. I think you got. Who else is there? That's tough. What comic I'm not is afraid tough? of Burr. Kevin Hart's a little guy. He's he won't even last. He's in shape. He's got the underwear. His voice is too. Yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> That's right. I don't know. Who else is there? I don't think so. Dave Chappelle? Dave got That's bigger, boy, right? but he can't fight. He can't fight. I don't think Dave can That's fight. That's so terrible to say about another guy. He I'm saying it right fight. now, Dave. You're big and you're mentally genius. You can't fight. Ooh, ooh. I'll take you. Let's talk about Long Island. Hang on. Wait. Hang on a now, sec. you grew up South Shore mm -hmm. near me. I'm Valley Stream, 85, right. graduated. When did you graduate? 2002, Baldwin. Bolden. Wow. Now, back when I was in high school, yeah. Valley Stream was like a kind of like a ritzy, really, ritzy? You know, really nice, expensive. Valley you know, Stream. Oh, yeah. Silver Was you growing up, up there? But, I mean, you know, Baldwin is the hood. You know, I don't know if you know that. Maybe when you were in high school, it wasn't, though. Were Bolden, was Baldwin tough when you were in high school? I don't know. We didn't even consider Baldwin. Really? Valley Stream is the. We held up Long Island because you had Queens and Rosedale knocking on your door, the city trying to get in. So we and you were, kept them out. That's right. We were the one, we were the ones. Why didn't you guys just let them in? No, it's <laughs> our territory. You can't come down that's here. Right, that's Someone right, Someone came down on a bicycle. The whole neighborhood would stop and just be like, you lost? I love it. You lost? Because I don't, I don't think you're from Long Island. I think you belong on that side on Hook Creek Boulevard. OK, Ready? so it's like one, two. So. One, boom, boom. Two, cover, and then two. Don't, don't fall that. Don't fall down. Just like just this. Look at me. Boom. Two. Got it. So, so one, boom. two, cover, two. Good. Ooh, I like that one. That was good. One, two, cover, two. Sorry. No, it's all good. See, this is, this is what happens, too. I'm good up to one, two. <laughs> you start hitting. One, two, three, one, two. It's where the dementia kicks in. That's what happens when you start hitting 50. As soon as you have a colonoscopy, I don't know what goes down, but something goes down, and you start missing things here. Kevin Can Wait was my first TV show I've ever been on. Sitcom. And, sitcom, yeah. I'm sorry. Any TV. Excuse me. Yeah, any TV, anything. Oh, anything wow. like it. Okay. Uh, so we, um, we were on the show together. You were the yeah, priest. You were hysterical. Do you remember that? Do you remember me? I was the I, cop. I was Nick Dawson. I do remember, and I'll tell you why I remember, because Sandler was there. Oh, thanks. Okay. Yeah, so and, because and, Sandler was there. And you you remember. Were <laughs> I remember talking to you. We had a great yeah, conversation. We did. Do you oh, you remember that? We did. Only because Sandler was there? Uh, <laughs> it helped he was there. I'm a Long Island guy, man. I know. What He's the like, I think we're Long Island guys. Stand up first time. What was that like? First time was Long Island, a place called Governor's. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, still there. In Levittown, still there. I thought I was the white Ed Eddie Murphy. So you were even... fully confident going in. Oh! Confident. Wow. I was cocky. Get out of here. Cocky. I was, I was confident I was going to be, uh, just that night, I was going to be discovered. <laughs> Clearly. And when I got off stage, I couldn't believe I wasn't signed to a big contract. Really? So you felt great on stage? Everything oh, God, was smooth? Yeah. Wow. Super comfortable on stage. I really was kind of, I, I had. Is that because you were just funny naturally with your friends and stuff, and then you were like, I want to do stand-up comedy? Yeah. And just thought you were It was either that and a rock star all in one. I used to think, in high school, I would say, okay, I'm going to be 
a huge rock band, huge heavy metal rock band, like ACDC-ish mm -hmm. type thing, and I'm gonna tour as the biggest comedian and just open for myself. Jeez. That's how that's how cocky and that's, confident. That's I was. awesome. Obviously, I'm a UFC fighter, and people think that's pretty intimidating to do. It's extremely but intimidating for me. I think the craziest, scariest thing, the thing I have most respect for someone who does, no matter how good they are, is stand-up comedy. Because <laughs> not only to walk out, walk out there, and you're not in control of those people's humor if, if they think you're funny. It's up to them. It's you know, it's everyone. It's a personal. It's a personal thing. Sure. So you could give your 100% best, and you could kill it, and they could just be looking at you, like you have two heads, and you're just you're terrible. Well, let me ask you this: What made you fight? What? How do you get the nads to walk in a ring the way you fight? This isn't yeah. boxing. Yeah. We hear the. Yeah. This is. <laughs> this is. Oh, shoot! This is. Yeah. Ah! Oh, God! <laughs> what gave you that, Nads? That was pretty good. Um, well, I grew up as a wrestler, and um, I'm super competitive. I love all sports, and it just... Your first fight, when you walked in the ring, nervous, scared to death, what are you? Honestly, I was, I was all right. I was all right. It was nerve-wracking. It was the first time, you know, I wrestled my whole life, so I tried to, like, dumb it down to, like, another wrestling match. But it's different when you got fans cursing and drinking alcohol in the, in, in the stands and going nuts and kill him. You know, so you start hearing that. So, whoa, this is a little different. And then all of a sudden that cage door just goes, boom, locks up, and then you're in there with one other guy. And at that point, honestly, I, I wasn't that bad because I was super confident in myself. Yeah, 100%. I, I realize that. It comes down to confidence. There you go. You, for you, as soon as that... But th this didn't come naturally, the confidence for that. I mean, years and years of experience of wrestling, of winning and losing. And then it finally it started molding me to have confidence and training really hard, obviously. But right. you, you were super confident, confident without doing anything. Well, you know, I was a fat kid. Yeah. And my eyes don't help. <laughs> so I was a fat, dopey looking... What's wrong with your eyes? Can, we, uh, we, they look can we talk about your eyes? Sure. They All look right. sleepy. They're sleepy eyes. Why is that? Stoner eyes. Stoner eyes. Okay. I have heavy eyelids. Oh. I have so heavy eyelids, and I was diagnosed with chronic dry eye as a kid. Ooh. So that adds to the stoner look. Yeah. Um, so half baked was a perfect role. Fit your perfect. perfect. Role. Yeah. You know, and, and the annoying thing about half baked was. Most people just think I was stoned the whole time. I was yeah. never high. Really? The Would film. they let you smoke them? Like, is that mm. for that movie or no? No, there was only only Snoop Dogg did. Yeah, he's, he's, he's allowed to anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, does, he does stuff for the UFC, does commentating. He's smoking during the commentary. <laughs> of course he is. It's like only him could get away with that. Of course he is. Yeah. But I was a little afraid to fight. But as a fat kid, I learned being funny and tearing you down mentally, I can win any battle. Now. Both okay. feet in each box going down, so just like this. Bunny rabbit. Little bunny, little bunny. Bunny rabbit. All right, this time we're on the side of the box. Okay. We're gonna be... So glad I didn't drink wine last night. So we're gonna want both feet in. Actually, we're gonna do one foot in. Yeah. That foot comes out, other foot goes in. So it's just like this. Oh, okay. That was a little harder. <laughs> You got that one. No, that was good. Just, <laughs> it's all about confidence. Just believe. There you go. Go, 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 go. Just keep going. Yeah. If you're happy and you know it, happy. your head. <laughs>